It was Amanda, wasn't it? You were drinking her like an antidote for a broken heart. Small doses of love. In a strange way, it's kind of poetic. But you didn't love Amanda. She was more like an obsession. You loved Gail. You don't know her. Of course I don't. That would be impossible. Do you know what I do when I come here? I come to this office and I stare out the window. Wade, do you know how you got here? I was shot. Do you know by whom? Agent Jeffries. I thought they paid you to listen. I heard every word. This is Lucas, isn't it? Yeah. The hospital turned over all your personal effects to me the night that you were admitted for psychological evaluation. Wade? This boy in the picture... It isn't Lucas. Look at me. It's you. I'm not trying to hurt you, Wade. I'm trying to help you. You understand that, don't you? Hi, honey. Hi. I have to go. I left the rest of her medication in the kitchen, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> so nice of you to read her stories and spend time with her. It's been really rough on her since she lost her husband. <laughs> That's the least I can do, Francie. Mm. Hey, Mick. <laughs> Hi. Hey. So how things go with your banker? They, they turned down the construction loan. Oh, I'm sorry, Mick. Roll with the punches. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Well, I've got some good news. Yeah? I got a job offer. Where? Um, what school? Um, it's a, a San Jose. San Jose is uh, six hours away. Look at me. You know, 12 years I've been coming here, and I haven't told anyone, not even my clerk, where I was going. <laughs> How did you find me? Well, if it'll make you feel any better, yeah. it wasn't easy. Well, what can I do for you, Nash? I need a temporary restraining order against uh, an ex-cop named Luke Grissom. He's the cop that they put away for beating up his wife. That's right. She's a cop in Potrero, right? As always, yeah. your command of the facts is impeccable. I'm on board on this one. I'm going to need it fast. You got it. And I respect your training and your various degrees, but I just don't think you understand the creative process. I, I mean, some killers dream of their murders for years before actually committing them. <laughs>